from all canvas ladies so we have a bit of a greenery and i think that is something that this market currently needs we need a bit of a greenery we red is a nice color but i think we've all had enough of it so let's before i start a video about bonero and why do i think what i think of it let's have a look on the top gainers of this week so we've got more i hope i'm saying it right i've never ever heard of it and it looks like market hasn't either. This looks like a possible exchange edition pump. Or oh, we still got OX. People laugh how I say it. Huabi, BitShares, IOSD, and Tezos are the top winners of the end of the week. Bitcoin is hovering around 6,400 and it's looking quite comfortable there. So is Ripple below 45 cents. Let's see, we've got EOS at 742 and our Monero is currently at position 13 and is trading at 125 dollars per crypto asset with a market cap over 2 billion so i'm gonna be honest here and i did purchase some monero however when i've done it i thought it was a dip and i thought i got a really good price on it but now i'm looking at it and honestly my monero is currently down unfortunately because i got a bit greedy and it breaks my heart so with the blockchain technology i basically received a lot of mixed reaction as the technology keeps changing to satisfy the customer demands the entry of privacy coins into the market has changed how trading in banned substances in the dark world is done monero a privacy coin has been seen as a haven for the dark web dealings monero's unique privacy properties make it stand out as a coin that is fully anonymous and transactions are untraceable so it's an ideal outfit for users evading central government monitoring many cryptocurrency users have associated a platform with the dark web but it is more than that the black market has been seen as an evil factor as an evil sector but monero only offers an alternative form of payment and does not make the market legit so on their website they basically describe it really well and i think it should be your homework if you're not really that invested into monero to go onto their website and actually have a further look on why monero is actually different they explain it very well the website is very easy to follow you can download Monero depending on what operating system you've got on your computer. And they've also got a school feature in Moneropedia, which basically explains the meaning of certain terms and concepts using Monero. They've also got frequently asked questions and user guides. So their website is absolutely amazing. It's got everything that you guys need. So one of the partnership between Monero and Alphabet has seen more vendors opting for Monero rather than Bitcoin as a way of making payments. Traders and consumers are turning to sell digital coins to access drugs, firearms, and trading in, in stolen credit cards. However, Richard Spagini, sorry if I said it wrong, which is a core developer at Monero, has come out to defend the coin by saying that the uptick among people who really need to be private is interesting. If it's good enough for a drug dealer, it's good enough for everyone else. And I think that is a very good and positive attitude to have. If people want to make transactions for the dark web, they'll do it and they'll find a way. So why has Monero actually been so popular? As Monero increased popularity has been amplified by Bitcoin's inability to tackle its own privacy vulnerabilities. With stealth wallet innovation, Monero ensures that the fund recipient on their ecosystem cannot be traced. Now with the ring signature functionality, Monero spender addresses are grouped with other thousand spenders and the more funds are spent, the more complicated tracing becomes. Since Alphabay and Oasis were integrated into the money payment system, the value of Monero has been on the rise since then. However, the platform is diversifying its market reach and users are beginning to see the benefits of privacy coins outside the dark web realm. And I've been seeing nothing but constant requests about doing privacy coins. So we can basically treat this as a start of a privacy coin review video. So I've done a comparison video about privacy coins a long time ago. And you guys keep asking me to do it again. So I'm going to do a separate one about each of them. And I think I'm going to go in the order they are on CoinMarketCap. So if you guys want to stay tuned on to them, remember to subscribe to All Converse Ladies 
so you'll get notified when the video's been up. But let's go back to Monero. So nowadays you can use Monero when your transactions are sensitive. Buying prescribed medicine, gaming, purchase of some, you know, adult stuff like site subscriptions are areas where users are spending their Monero. They do not want their expenditure being reflected on their credit cards. And with increased real world use cases, Monero is about to shed a dark web tag. So let's increase even more the use cases of Monero. And since Monero cannot be traced back to you, you can easily buy and sell without the authorities bugging you. This is an advantage to the user and a disadvantage to the authorities. Despite the coin getting delisted from regulatory like correct exchanges, its growth remains steady. So what do you guys think of privacy coins, especially like Monero or Dash? There are not exactly the cheapest. Dash is one of the most expensive one out there. I know loads of people seems to like Bitcoin private for some reason. I always get loads of comments about Bitcoin private and from supporters of it. And I'm not exactly the, the biggest fan of Bitcoin forks. I think that the amount of that's out there is just outrageous. And soon we're literally gonna have a Bitcoin fork for everything. So Monero's down from its all-time high of almost $500. It was obviously at the start of the year where crypto was booming and everyone's saying 1 billion is just down the road. It didn't happen, but you know, it is what it is. So the current price of Monero, as I said at the start of the video, is $125. So it's quite significantly down from its all-time high. So it's a bargain now and God forbid, it's not a professional financial advice this video. I'm just starting a series of videos on privacy coins as you guys just requested it from me. So you can get Monero from most of the exchanges, starting from HitBTC, Binance, Bitfinex, Kraken, OK Exchange. It's widely available and you can get it with fiat. Like you can get it with some Polish money over here. You can get it with euros, Ethereum, Bitcoin. Most of the exchanges have it. So if you guys are interested, remember to research it more. Do your own research is a very important thing. And if you guys are yet to follow them on Twitter, remember it's very important to follow the project that you guys are invested in to follow them on social media. And oh my God, look at the amount of follow followers. They have 300,000 followers. This is probably one of the biggest ones from the projects I have reviewed in the recent time. Speaking of subscribing, subscribe to our channel if you haven't yet. Date of when we made a video. I'm not gonna be showing off, but I'm one of the first people who made a video about this. Uh, loads of people criticize me for creating a clickbait out of it, but everyone does it. And I'm not saying it's okay because everyone does something, but there was three, four people that were really disheartened about it and unsubscribed. And I'm sorry to hear that, but I think the video was great. <laughs> and anyway, if you guys like this sort of a chat that I usually do and want to follow me on Twitter, feel free to do so. You can get me at all point Sarah, especially if you're... <laughs> It's one of those things I found funny the other day and I decided to share it and I see that a lot of people agrees with me. So remember to follow me, subscribe to Alcoin Bus Ladies and let me know what next privacy con would you like me to review? Whether you're invested into Monero, what do you think of Monero? What's your favorite feature about Monero? And I'll catch you guys later. Have a good one. Bye bye.